Eastern stove. And so you just lay it out, and the first thing I always do. I kind of have the first step wired, but it's like. Because I just find the nose. You know what I mean? Uh, it don't matter whether you have the nose on that side or that side, but it just matters that you find the cruise light. so you know you don't have it folded or twisted. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you what you do for the hands. Okay. Get to, watch this, watch what I do. I'm gonna start with the very, very nose, right? One, two. What I'm doing is I'm getting these uh, to stack. See these right here? Lining up. Play it back 20 times, oh, so we'll get it right. Really neat. Watch this. You see, see, see how there's just like a chili, chili. See this line right here? This continues up, and this is about your nose cut. See, right here. So right, if I grab right here, and you could almost take like a, a colored pen. You see what I'm saying? I'm pulling the line right there. You see? Yep. This is the nose. So what I want to do is I want to grab all seven of these. Okay, one, two, three, okay, that's, that's, that's just a starter. So with that kind of stacked, I'm going to take a and I'm going to gather the material, this is just going to help me. Okay, now what I'm going to do is five. Five clamps. Okay. Now I'm going to grab one, two, three, Chilly. Chilly. four. I'm grabbing the white seams right here, see? Five. Six. Way overkill on, on this control here, but. Yeah. One. Let's see if they match up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Let's see if this, this uh, if they really. Okay, yeah, see how if I've got seven, I'm, I'm pulling straight line with those B lines. Okay? Yeah. Okay, now another thing to check is that when, you've got, when I've got seven of these, how, 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 they're, uh, how, they're, how they're right here. So I'm going to go back. Stick it in the bottom. Okay, I've got that line. Here's the white one. White line all the way out. One. Notice how like each cell, it kind of goes, there's, a, there's, a, there's this inside cell, see? The inside tapes. Okay, that's why there's this little dip. You know what I mean? If you ever take a look at a way a parachute inflates, they're kind of, they're kind of, um, there's kind of like a dip between each cell, kind of goes like that, you know what I mean? Kind of W's across. Yeah, because that's the problem with the chemistry section. Yeah. So, if you pull this, uh, the seam in between. No, you can't touch that. You don't even bother. It's just the ones with the white edges. Just stack them up on top. Okay. 
Okay, so that all of these are going to be... See how these are kind of lining up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about, like, this fabric here? Yeah. Um, you'll see it. I'll, I'll be straightening it out. Once I, once I start working tension that way, it'll all straighten out. Smaller cracks. Okay. Yeah. So what are you going to mark? Okay, so, what? I'm not going to mark anything on the A-cells right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clamp this. Okay. Now, okay, now what you do here, watch this. Did you find the center? So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. There's the center cell right there. And you roll it right to there, okay? Roll it just like that. So you can see this, this kind of inside one. You can count one, two, three, and kind of roll that. This is, this is you're exposing the nose. One, two, three, roll it this way. Kind of, the fold kind of comes in like that. See what I'm saying? I got the full, and then I'm gonna take this one, which I is a clear, distinguished cell. This isn't in the packing manuals, is it? Uh-uh. This, this is your personal trick. Personal trick. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm exposing the center cell. This is the center cell right here, see? Okay, and it divides the risers. Now I'm gonna start working on your canopy from back to front, okay? okay. Now we're gonna find the exact spot of the A, A, the A lines, and we're going to mark them. Okay. Would you call these the A cells? Um, no, this is the. These are the cells, tapes, the nose, nose tapes. We'll have like a. You got four beads. So you got one, two, three, four here. Okay, and then four here. Okay. And, uh, So what are you looking at here, evening up these? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to lay the tapes on the tapes. Tapes on tapes in the middle. Yeah. You, you wouldn't have to video anywhere past this one. Yeah. Yeah. Or just an equal distance back. I would say maybe that's about six inches, okay? One, two... So your leg seems up, huh? Double seam up. Yeah, I'm trying to find a double seam. Because that's... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find... Okay, a point where if I, if I hold this spot right here, if I pull, it's a straight line with the A. See what I'm saying? So right here, see this, this This is like your nose fold. See yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But that right there is an, is an, a, is an a mark. Well, so you can clamp that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, these packing tabs right now are... Bye, Amber. Bye, Amber. You know, gather it. You mine. can re them. You know what I mean? Um, but I understand that they're not... They're not I mean, I want to lay it like right. Here's 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 the one right here. You see what I'm saying? So okay. it's the top. The top is the. Yeah. So, but the, if you mark it, it's going to be done this way with the shoot facing that way, right? Yeah. Because if you were doing the other way, these these lines would be. Uh, see how they're off a little bit? Yeah. I'm finding out that they're, that they're off. But I mean, they'll, they, no. what, they'll, they'll, what they'll do is they'll just help you gather and get the cells kind of pulled out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a spot where I can get all these bee lines really on top of each other. Okay, so I would say that that's right about... Plus, after a while, they kind of start stretching a little bit, you know what I mean? There's like a quarter inch of play. But what we should see is there should be equal tension here. Yeah. 
Those creases are just from previous pack LZ. All these? No. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that was because it was pack. That was from your pack job. That's what also is good too. Is that um, mm -hmm. um the thing kind of takes a memory. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that's why if you leave it packed for a while. So if I pull this. And plus, this is also a high point too. You know what I mean? There's kind of a camber to this, so to try to pull a curve straight. Well, should we try to like straighten these out so they're all all the seams are facing up, or no? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean there there's tension. If you pack it, um, you know, uh, symmetrically on either side, the center cell open first, it gets its own front. It gets its own separate straight lines, right? And it's also for CRW, which is kind of be relative work. Like if you came in and docked on me. Instead of sliding my feet down your lines and then getting caught in a cascade, you know when you dock mm -hmm. on somebody? You'll see when your chute opens, the A and B lines on the center cell are just straight. There's no cascade, they just go all the way up. Yeah. It also makes the canopy stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead back just, here. And, is that just A, B, C, D doesn't do that? Yeah, C and, yeah, only on an A, B center cell does it have a, a straight cascade, okay? It serves two functions. It's for, uh, one's for, uh, for when you, it's, it's for strength. And then two is for uh, if you do canopy relative work. Okay. These still come in. Yeah, these are coming out of the center. Yeah. The, the biggest pronounced curve is between the A and B lines, right? Between the B and C, there's a little bit of a curve and, and, and the rest of, the, or rest of it. But, but what it is, the big camber is in the front of the nose. You know how it rolls over? Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking to, and you can help me with this, is it, you kind of hold this up a little bit. Uh -huh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a straight line between all of these. Okay, here's this one, two, and three. And the fourth one has the dry line. Okay. Um, and straight line. Chilly, chilly. Here's five right here. Straight line. Six. And seven. Okay. Pretty much a straight line. See how see how see how yeah. these pretty much you know, our, our Aaron line right here. Okay. Don't worry about this. In fact, these are all pretty yeah. differently. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now, now watch. When I pull, see how I get all the lines? Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay, I'm going to take a clamp for this one right and put it in market right here. Okay. So now we're working BC. Okay, now we're going to work, we're going to go to the D lines. You flake out your canopy. And if I grab, notice that I'm lifting up dead center on the D, so I definitely got the good spot. Okay. Now, what we can do now is we can mark this with a pen, okay? So, I can take your pen, bring it from back to forward. Definitely got that spot. But even though these lines aren't, like, perfectly stacked on top of each other, that's not a big deal, right? Like, these, these B lines aren't. Well, that's because the, um, the that's because the, uh, the the center line. See those two that are different on the center cell. Yeah. There. What what it is is here. Okay. If you look in the skirt. Come here. These are stacked straight. Okay. Look. Okay. Oh yeah. See. Wow. Okay. I mean they're laying there. All right. See how all these tapes are like lying there. Yeah. Okay. Let's look under here. Look at these. They're laying there. They're right oh, there. Shit. See that? The camera okay. Let's there. look at the D's. Come here. One get it. Okay, if I pull this, let's see if I got it. Look at that. They're, they're lying eight. right on top of each other, okay? Incredible. Okay? So we got the spots. Let's go ahead and make the marks. Okay. I'm a stitch. No, yeah, brush sideways. Yeah, there and there. Okay, get that one. Make him, you know, so you can see him. Lines right, and then I clamp it. Pat, okay? And you roll it back to expose that seam, okay? Pack it up. For what? Is somebody going to fly in? You want to get this clamp. Uh-huh. What I do is I pull that seam flat. It's like on. I have? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So I mean, oh, shit. And how is he going to get down? <laughs> That's Slowly. what a parachute's for. <laughs> okay, I, I clamp it so this this thing's kind of sticking out. You see what I'm saying? Right in the middle. This is it, dead center. Okay, that is your center cell. 
Okay, you can roll these back. Okay. What this does is it's going to close off. It's going to force the center cell to get just a split second. It's going to get the it's going to get the, the split second start on filling up first. Okay. Okay. Now, what I do at this point? Okay. I the whole shoot until it's all it's all in line. Alright, I'm gonna go all the way back with all this. Okay. Because you have these total control points, and I'm gonna come a straight line to right here. See there's the center of your rig, there's a straight line, okay? Look at this, I can look see how easy it is to control the panels now? Now that you have a mark. Okay. Straight line, reference line. Okay. Some people even go as much as uh, putting a chalk cord in Okay. And I'm gonna show you something. What you do is this. Okay. Now you can do anything with this. If if uh, if you're having too hard openings, okay. If you're having the, the nose is what controls the speed of the opening. Okay. So for a base jump, I always split the nose like this. Okay. Because I want an immediate opening. I'm just basically getting terminal velocity, and then I'm up L cap or half dome or something like that, and then I'm doing this. You don't have the nose like this. You can just roll it. You know what I'm saying? You can. Like, okay, like let's say I didn't have this fold here. You can roll this, okay? Yeah, Some people roll dive. that, okay, for a skydive, okay? You roll it right until it becomes a straight line. You see what I'm saying? All right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where you can roll it. Or you can do this. Some people fold it under, okay? Like that. Yeah, for slower. Okay? okay, what I'm going to show you is like the, the fastest way, okay? okay? Okay, and that is you just put it straight down, okay? You put it straight down. And when I do, it's really sick. And I go in here, and I, I, I even do a little a mini fold. I go in there, and I stick my hand in a three three on the side. That's not really the uh, easiest way to do that. Yeah, this is not the easiest okay. way to do it. Okay, wait, if you fold it over, that's folding it up? No, okay, remember what we're doing is this is, remember, you're, you're like this, okay? The parachute's being folded like it's over your head, and um, this is the nose. The whole thing, okay, the whole the whole canopy basically is being stacked. Okay, this is the canopy collapsed, right? Like uh -huh. an accordion. The canopy is being packed like this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yep. But I'm gonna show you how to stack pack, since you're packing in a bag. Okay, so real quickly, all right, I just showed you those different folds for the nose. So what, did, what did you say here? You said this, you moved it so this is perpendicular? This is straight. straight. Yeah, straight. straight. Yeah, let me make it this Okay, yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. That's the rig. Okay, this is the A-line. And then equal length on either side. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Favoring anything. And the B-line is actually split to it. The reference line? Well, everything's going to be stacked on the reference line. You're going to see all the lines are going to go on the reference line. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the lines are going to go yeah, right yeah. there. Okay, yeah. so. So the reference line is here? Yes, this is the reference line. Okay, wait. Slower. No, slow. So okay, here, here it is. I'm just going to do this, okay? Because that, this is for a base jump. Okay. Um, it doesn't, I mean, Okay, this is slowest. Okay, taking it like this, and yeah. rolling it tight. That's what that guy did when he packed it. Okay, yeah. I don't want a slow opening. Okay, I want a fast opening. Okay, fast. Okay, fastest. Okay, then slower is this. Okay, just a fold. Okay. Okay. A little bit faster is this. That's probably good. Yeah. Standard. A little bit faster is, is just just fold it underneath, okay? Let's, let's do it that way. Right okay, there. yeah. Okay. Now, no, no. And, that, and that's always safe, no matter, even if you're doing a high speed. Yeah, skydive. even even yeah, even for yeah, high speed skydive. Just don't dump in a track. Just don't be going. Remember when you're tracking and going away from somebody, like you're doing two way, and yeah. then the guy goes like this, yeah. and he waves off. Don't go like this. Don't be in a track and then go like this. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's gonna be collapsed, man. Snap you like a rag doll. Everybody says, why don't I want my parachute? I want my parachute to open that way, but your, your body's so sore. Okay. Um, wipes. 
and, and John, you take this. Okay, what I do is I always operate from, from this side of the canopy, okay? I put my knee down here to keep tension, okay? Put my knee right here. I grab, I grab the clamp, okay? And then I grab the lines. And then what I do is, as I lay it down, before I go in there, I do a couple smoothing folds, okay? I go like this, okay? Just to make sure that this canopy is lying flat. Okay, and then look, look at look at how the, the lines have just stacked up. Okay. Boom, right there. Okay. I mean, bring it over. Now notice as I fold it that I'm that I'm gonna have to clear the stabilizers. You see what I'm saying? Your stabilizer is getting F's folded in there. We're gonna have to clear that later. Okay. You see, this is your stabilizer right here. Okay. All right. Now with tension, see how I have the lines right here? I put my knee down on it here. And I trap it here, and I and I and I and I and I and I go away with the cord like this. Okay. Okay. So now we're working uh, B to C, right? Yeah, B to C. Now, if you take a look at this, what it is is there's just two stabilizer panels right here, and then all this stuff. See, this is that skin of your canopy, right here. All right. See all these folds, all these tapes that are nicely stacked together. Yep. Okay. So these stabilizers, just these single panels, we're gonna have to clear them. Alright. We'll so, do that later though, right? Yeah, watch what I'm doing. See? I'm I, I since I know that this is the bottom skin, I fold to here and then I just I get it nice and smooth. Then I grab the clamp, right? I grab the lines, see? Like this, like a ring. Uh -huh. And I and I lift slowly. Now notice that as I fold it, did you see how that just like laid on top of each other right there? Uh-huh. Okay, and notice that there's also this seam right here. And feel this. Feel that right there. Do you see how you got all the lines? Do you know, no, just pinch it. That's all the lines stacked on top of each other. You see can, what I'm saying? Can you check it visually? Look in there, go in there. You can feel it. Man, this is, this is really neat. Uh-huh. See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You got it right there, boom. Okay. 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 Now, watch, see where the lines are? I put my knee right there. All right, I, I can smooth this. And then I got this under tension. And I'm gonna do the D fold, okay? Uh, we're going C to D, okay? I mean, I can feel this. All the lines are right there, boom. You know what I mean? Because you can feel that, see what I'm saying? Okay, here's all the panels, nice and smooth. I got the lines, look at, notice how I'm grabbing the lines right here, okay? And the clamp, and I fold. Now, on the CD, now watch this. This is important too. You go back in here, and you do this, and you smooth it out. Okay, totally symmetric. And you control with the line group and the clamp. Okay, and then I lie it down. You're always grabbing the clamp. Yeah, because the clamps are the equal point. Equal equal point. Now we got to clear the stabilizers. No lines are. Look look at your lines. Look at that. Yeah. Say that they're, they're perfect. So no. Pass it through the line groups. Right. You know what I mean. So if do you don't that. do that, like let's say, let's say that you land and the canopy lands right on top of you. I mean, yeah. like, like, right on top of you. And then, and then, you, and then you walk out this way. You go like this. Okay. Now you've walked through line groups. Yeah, that's what we did with your parachute. Right this is the, this is the back right corner of your parachute. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. What you got is you got this. Okay. I'll draw a stabilizer. Okay, it goes like this. You've got it goes to the D line, right? Okay, and it goes to the C line. Yep. B line, and then it goes to the A. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. And then you've got the nose. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. C, B, A. This is all stabilized. All right. On the side. So what you've got is when you take a look at the chute. Okay. One. Center, has center lines, right? Yeah. These are these are inset. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're inset. Okay. What you've got is you've got stabilizer, side view. Okay. Okay. You have stabilizer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> see right here. Look at. You can see it. This this is the width of your cell. Okay. Right here. See this line right here? This is the bottom skin. 
Okay, from here down, this is all stabilizer. Okay, now, now, now watch this. Here's the back, here's the back corner of your, of your canopy. Here comes the stabilizer. Okay, now watch what happens. Watch this. Okay, this is the stabilizer, see? And it comes down and then into the canopy. So what we do is we, 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 we go like this, and we're, we're going to clear them. Okay, and we pull it out until we have just cleared the destabilizer. Okay, and you go all the way up into here, okay, and then you come down and you'll see the white tape, okay. The, the stabilizers have these grommets on them, see what I'm saying? This prevents the slider from going up, up, up onto those, these lines up higher, okay. Okay, now we're going to clear the C-stabilizer. Okay, here's the C-stabilizer. Watch. Okay, it should come to another grommet. Here's the grommet, right? Now watch this. You see this fold right here? This is where people screw up, okay? Wait, wait. Okay, so here, here, here's grommet to grommet. Grommet to grommet. This is great. This is mm -hmm. exactly what I mean. Okay, but watch this now, John. A lot of people like get confused about this. Okay, the stabilizer comes up in here. Okay, and yeah. you got to clear that all the way up until it's stitching, until until it's even skin. See, this, this is C lines, right? Yeah. These are these are D. These are C. These are D. And this are these are C right here. The D lines are the longest. Okay, this is D to the end. This is. This is actually I'm sorry, this is tail. This is the tail. These are these are the tail lines right here. These are brakes. Yeah. Brakes. You can write tail brakes. So first we clear a tail D. Tail D stabilizer, which is this. Yeah. And then we clear D C stabilizer. Okay. okay. Now, now now look though, okay, you go in here and, and then you gotta you gotta clear this too, okay? Uh, all underneath. Clear okay. all the way to the to yeah. the uh, uh -huh. important they're all the way to the connections. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are going to be clear, okay? Already. What we got to do is clear the ones that you know we fold, we brought, we brought over, okay? Like this, this is this right here. here here's your, here's your tail stabilizer. Here's your, your DC stabilizer right here. See, goes all the way up, right? And then feel how, how right up in here you get, you start getting the material. This is your bottom skin stitch, right? Yeah. Okay, and then here is your, let's see, C, B, this is your, um, this is C, and here's B, right here, right? Okay, and this thing's already, already, see, it's already cleared, okay? Yeah, it should be And here's your B, side. A, see, and this is, and, and. You gotta still clear that one, right? Well, it's already cleared, see? see? Look at, there's nothing in here. Here's the bottom skin. The bottom skin, well, the bottom skin comes, goes like this, see what I'm saying? Well, one of these is for this side, though, isn't Right, it? but the, um, what I'm saying is these are already cleared. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. What we got to do is go Hold D, up. we go tail D, uh -huh. D, C, all right? Uh -huh. And now what we got to do is we got to lift this up, okay? And we got to go from C to B, and there it is, see? Um, look, look, look inside. See, see how it's cleared. How did, how did you pull it out? What well, what I did was I, I moved. I moved this. Remember, I moved this. I moved this up. Oh. Okay. Now watch this one. This is one that everyone forgets. You got to go from B to A, and here it is. You just keep following the tape. Now we'll look underneath. It's going to go to the nose. See, here's the nose right here, right? Yeah. See, there's the tape. Okay. But you got to pull it out. See what I'm saying? Now you just cross that line. Well, watch. Watch you, what you, 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 you. What you do is you go back in here and you grab the line groups. Okay. This is what they're calling clear. See, okay. clearing the air clear. channel. And these should be. Do you assume that these are already? Watch. Set? Watch. Look. See, here's stabilizer covering the lines. Okay. okay. All right. See, I pulled this line over a little bit, like you said. This is right there. And watch. I'm going all the way up here and I'm clearing that. Okay. I'm really overly clearing it. This is what I like about this, this cruise-like canopy. Until, look at this, look at this. I've got my hand literally on the lines, okay? And my canopy doesn't do this. That you can see that they're clear. You should be able to, you should always have, you know, all the grommets are gonna be lying right here, okay? So here's uh, tail uh -huh. D, here's DC, uh -huh. here's... Uh, Actually, you're working towards the A, okay? Backwards to forwards. Here's CB, where's the... A is really small. See, it's all the way over here. This is it. See, look, look how thin it gets. Oh, it just yeah. comes down to like an inch. See, there it is. So a there's no grommets there. Yeah, B to C, C to D, D to 
tail. See, it comes all the way over to the bottom of the tail. And this side, we have, okay. we have tail, tail D. Here's the tail, tail D. Oh, tail D is here. Right, right here, see, this is the tail. Look at tail oh, yeah. D. Tail D. So the grommet. Uh -huh. so you can write on there. I don't care if you write on there. So I you would. You want to do that? Here. Yeah. I'll show, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. ever get 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 mess let me show you what the beauty of this is you just take this one and you give it a tug okay that, that that's your a you take this one and give it a tug that's your B you give this one give it a tug that's your C give this one give it a tug and that's your D and boom you've got control over all the lines again okay now look at this I can go in here there's another thing that you should you should know too is that there's a there's eight lines on, 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 on each group inside okay there's one two three four one two three four see okay now watch this that's your D's here's one two three four one two three and there it is it's four and four see okay Yeah, there it is. See? See what I'm saying? You can always, if you always count eight, okay, you can always do that. See, there's eight also right here. Okay? What if we started with the D, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Count eight lines. line. Here's the stabilizer from here all the way down to this line. And here's the stabilizer from line to line. Okay. Now you know you've got it set. So what I do is I, uh, I go like this. Okay. I just retention re the D lines. Now I'm going to show you how. Now, now you set the brakes. Okay. After you clear the stabilizers, you set the brakes. What you do is you hold tension on the D lines. Hold yeah. tension on the D lines. You grab this and I pull the tail down here, okay? Kind of undoes this fold, but you're going to redo it anyway. Alright? Three steering lines that go to the brake line, okay? Alright? So what you do is you just want to make sure this is straight. You come up, come up to come to here, okay? Now from here, you always make sure that there's no wear. You go, fl you flatten it all the way down to the finger trap, okay? And then you pull the finger trap and make sure it doesn't twist all the way to there, okay? That's why, so you don't wanna, if, that's why you pull the canopy down and you don't end up, you know, you, you make the full, you pull it down and you don't, uh, you don't, you're pulling it down so you don't upset your folding. Yep. Okay, now, with the ring. Okay. Oh, that's finger trap right Finger here. trap, yeah, this is the finger trap right here. This right here. This is the finger trap, okay? Make sure, always watch the wear on this thing, okay? Yeah. Right here, this is, this is okay still. Really okay. Now, you remember, remember how you go through the finger trap? Line goes through the finger trap. Okay, I should, okay, I'm gonna do this over again. Yeah. Watch. Okay, there it is, I just pull, pull the line down. No twists in the brake line. Okay, the ring is lying up. First, the line goes through. 
line goes through like that. Mm -hmm. Then the ring goes over. Okay. Then the brake, without taking the, the twists out, okay, comes up and the brake is stowed. Okay, until it's seated. Okay, we're taking the lines to the outside. Okay, outside with the lines. There they are. One, two, three. Now, what you want to do is you want to seat the brake. If when the canopy opens, there is a major pull, okay, that comes in this direction, all right? You want to check to see that you can't, you know, unstow that. It's very important. That's why you don't want to, uh, one of the bad things that could happen on opening is that one of these, one of these is unstowed, like this one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or it comes out of the finger trap. What I do is I S fold, one, two, three folds, okay? I take this and I fold it up into here, okay? I'm just lying this down, off to the side, not on top, okay? And then tightly, the reason why you want, you want the bulk in there is you tightly wrap this around the top. Okay, let me do this other one. Okay, you should do the other one. Notice, you want to check it also, that when you pull on this, that it's definitely set. No, 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 no. And before you can set that one, John, you've got to come up here. Wait, no, I just want to take this out so it's like as if I was packing. Yeah. I mean, this, this one you just set. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's no twist. So you have to start here saying, okay, here, here, I mean, look at, here's the brake. See, you've got one, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. No, so, I don't worry about the flag uh, there. No, because that's just the trim. Okay. And then you pull it flat all the way. What, taking the twist out of your brake lines is important when you stow the lines so that there isn't any, any motion, uh, twisting motion. That's okay. it, you take it out. That's it. Okay. okay. And the trap. You take the twist out of this. There's a twist in it. Okay. And now it goes up. Okay. And uh, is it? Does it matter if I went? Go flat. Flat. Yeah. And this is going to be down. Uh -huh. okay. And the lines go to the outside. And then pull it tight. Set it. Okay. And then with it, the, while it's set, and this is this is the side, you S fold those. One, three, three folds. Two folds if you want. Doesn't matter. But it lies on the outside. Notice the brake lines are stowed to the outside. Okay. Pull that Velcro over tight. Really, really tight. Okay. Okay, now you've set the brakes. Yeah, that's it. And you, and you do that. You, you set it, okay? You make sure it's set, okay? okay. No messing around. <clears throat> okay. okay. Lines, okay? Now, notice that I pulled, when I pulled the tail down, I pulled this clamp back, okay? Yeah. Now, you're taking the canopy, John. Here's the side profile of it. Look at Here it is open, an open fly with the brakes off. Look at my hand. Can you, can you understand that? You know what I mean? It's like, here's a square. All right, and I'm, I'm pulling the brakes down. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I'm creating even more of a curve, okay? okay. So what I'm, gonna, what, I'm, what I'm gonna have a hard time doing is I can't get this clamp back up here. See, when the brakes were stowed, the D-clamp was here. Now that the brakes are stowed, the D-clamp's right here, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this over, okay, and, and basically uh, take this back. Now, now see this, see this uh, S-fold right here that I've got? Okay, and I'm just gonna lie it here. Now I want to show you something that you can do with your brakes. There's different ways to fold it. So you've got three lines, right? You've got, now this is what's neat, neat about the cruise light. The cruise light has this fang that comes down, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that gives you all your control. The airflow, if you take a look at your canopy from the rear, okay, your canopy looks like this. Here, let's turn your page. Okay. Your canopy has this big, this one actually comes down a little bit more pr pronounced, okay? Comes down. Kind of like this. this. You see what I'm saying? To points. Mm -hmm. One, two. Three. That's a rear view? Yeah, rear view. Okay, you have this big scoop right here, okay? Your pilot sheet would be here, mm -hmm. you know, kind of coming off here. Okay. Those are the brakes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, 
There's different ways to fold the tail. Some people split and fold center to outside. I fold from outside to inside. Okay, so. I'm gonna fold outside to inside. Okay, one side at a time. Now watch, here's a stabilizer, see? This is the outside, right? Yep. What we're gonna do is this. Okay, you can undo this clamp now. Okay, watch. Clamps away. Okay, undo the D-clamp. Okay. Okay, now, holding tension on this line, okay? Watch what I do. Okay, here, here's, here is the stabilizer, right? It's outside. Here are your eight lines, right there, okay? Now watch, I, what I'm doing is, here's this seam also, okay, right here. What you're, what you're trying to do is, trying to find a point, a point where it's equally folded. You see what I'm saying, how that's outside? You see how that's outside right there? This is, this is the stabilizer, okay? The first fold's the stabilizer. See what I'm saying? To, to, to the, to, this is the, the right rear corner of your canopy, okay? Okay. Right rear? Yeah. Okay. That's the first line then. Yeah, first line. Now, what I do is I turn that like this, uh -huh. okay? I take that and I stack right on top of it, okay? Or until it's tight. Uh -huh. Okay, now, I, what I have to do is I have a panel and you're gonna get a seam, a seam appears. This seam, in, on the reference line, okay, is packed all the way to here. Notice, notice how I'm pulling it out. See how it's clearing? Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of little material right here. See what I'm saying? Watch. This is. This is the flap. See, you have to create a panel by folding it, by gathering the material. Okay, it comes all the way up to a point right about where, this, where this, the camber of the seam kind of runs out. See, there, there's a curve in this seam. Now, watch this. You, you flip this one, and then I find the other seam. There's another, there's another white seam right here. Actually, this one is a instep. This is what's difficult. Okay, you gotta let this go. Actually, I don't let it go. My hand just disappears, okay? And I'm pulling this over. Are you watching? Watch. Okay, I'm kinda losing my white, I'm kinda losing my seam, my, my, uh, my fold right here. But I'm just trying to get this out, okay? And this is a short, weird fold on this canopy. See, see how this one's a lot lower? Okay, that's, that's, that's where I'm trying to draw you, Create, creating that scoop, okay? But on the reference line, all the seams go on the reference line. Now I gotta let go of this. Hang on a second. All seams. All, all tail right. seams are stacked on the reference and line. And how many seams are there? There's three or four? Or is this? All three lines. Well, all the way across. You're gonna go all the way across the canopy. Watch this. So it's gonna okay, yeah. Right? Now, here's that seam. It's on the reference line. Here's the next seam. Okay? Now watch what I gotta do. I gotta pull this out. Yeah, and big ass yeah, and 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 watch. See this seam right here? Yeah. Comes to the outside. Okay, until it's lying on the reference line. There's that seam. Gonna pull it over a little more. Yeah. See, it's gonna go into this fold. See how we've S folded it? Yeah. Okay. Here, here's the next one. This is this is this is what's so weird. Okay. Notice how all these seams line together now. Okay. Here's the next seam. Right. Okay. Until, and then it goes and it disappears into the S-fold, okay? And then here is the center panel. Then you know this is the center. So this one gets a half fold. Oh, yeah. This is actually kind of interesting. Okay. Until this is the center. All you got to remember is all seams are neatly stacked. Uh -huh. right? Yeah, except this one. See how this gets like a half, oh, there's yeah. like a little half fold right here? Uh -huh. You just have to make the tail symmetrical. That's the most important part. Can you show me that half fold again? Here's the half fold. I'm sorry. The last cell, you, you, this seam was on the reference line, okay? And then you see the warn, warning data panel coming up. You fold that. This is a half fold. Here's the half fold right here, okay? Okay? Until this is now on the reference line. Let me bring that all the way over. And you can dress the outsides like this, okay? Now what we do is we get the other side. Do you move what, around? What I do is I, I take the panels over and lay them on this side. And then you move back. Yeah, so what I do is, yeah, exactly. Because I want to work from outside to inside. So I go one, just throw it all over, panel by panel, until I find the stabilizer, okay? Now notice, here are your stabilizers. You can see your folds. Look at A, 
B, you know, A, B, C, D, sorry, yeah, nose A, you know, all that stuff. Okay, here's the stabilizer, okay? So you gotta go back up and find your lines, right? Yeah. Okay. All of them, all eight, count eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, you're holding it. Here's, here is the stabilizer, okay? This is the and tail. This. Yeah, this is the tail. That's the stabilizer. Okay. This is the stabilizer. Right okay. Here. Okay. This is the tail. Okay. This is your back left corner. But I'm going to pull it tight. See how that clears the stabilizer again? Yep. Okay. Now I put these two together. Now what I got to do is I have to. This is this, this is what's so difficult because you know you don't have different colors and stuff like that. Is you have to um, try to get this this seam to kind of like fall on on the line. You know what I'm saying? It's I'm, tricky, though. It is tricky, okay? And like this flap right here, see, you're going to have this little dog ear, okay? I mean, it doesn't matter what you do with that. You can fold it in like that. It just has to be clear. It has to be, cannot be in the lines. Okay, it's way away from the lines, okay? Then here's here's this seam. It's a, kind of a funky cut. No, notice how that pulled this over, okay? And then it goes in, okay? Now this whole panel is going to come over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, until this is now on, on the center okay, line, okay? Yeah. And, you, and what you want to do is you want to try to make it as square as possible. You see how I'm trying to get a nice square panel here? Yeah. Okay, that's with the tail, all right? Then this one comes over, okay? And, and see how this is kind of bunched up right here? You can just kind of pull it out, you see what I'm saying? You have to, you know, because it, it, it's, going, it's, going it's going to the inside, okay? You can lie, lie down and, and, and do it like that. Okay, now I got a half fold. So this, in order to make this, this is the center of the canopy, okay, right here. All right, so I got to kind of have this seam kind of come back out a little bit. Okay, what you're going to get is you're going to get a triangle. Okay, you're going to have a point up here, okay, and then all this can is going to come down. Okay, you have this point on top of the cell where it kind of disappears into the clamps, okay. Yeah. And then we have all, all the rest of the tail kind of folded like this. Okay, okay now, now we're going to do an air channel check. Okay, when it's like this, you take the center and you lift it back up. Okay, folding it open on each side. Now what you got to do, this is, this is difficult. Go back in here and count your eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, all these are straight. There's a stabilizer, there's a stick, right? Here's one seam right here. Okay, see that? Then, then, then it goes into a fold. Here's the next seam. I can bring that out again, right here. See that there's that seam? There's that, the, this seam. Okay, see, see the brake line? There's one, two, and then here's the third brake line right here. Okay, that comes all the way up to a D line. And all these come, come they, all, they all kind of loop back around, okay? You and then, just like that, maybe. No, you can just, what you can do is clear them by, by, by lifting them up, mm -hmm. okay? And then, and then this line. So I basically have got all the tapes lined together. Check it on this side. Okay, you go down to the bottom. I only see two. Mm -hmm. I only see two on this side. Well, I know, I haven't, I haven't started yet. Yeah. Okay, uh, where's the first brake line? Here's one. Okay, here's one. Okay. Two, three. There's two. Okay. Here is one. There's one. Yeah. Get this back up too. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here they are laying all right there. One, two, three. Get these out. Those are eight. These are D. Eight. Are we in the back? There's gonna be, there's, there should be like 10 now. Remember, these are, these are brake lines, remember? Yeah, that's Two of these things are brakes. Here, here's your two brakes. You want right those stacked with them too? Yeah, these are, these, but remember, if you add them up, look at, these, these are brakes right here. Yeah. See, these are two brakes, and this one's a brake, and this one's a brake. Remember, right. this is the one that comes down. Yeah. So these kind of stay on the sides, yep. okay?
panel check. See that you've got all the lines, boom. See, lines, no fabric going in between any lines. Notice, okay. I can grab all these lines. Okay, I can grab all these lines. Uh -huh. I can grab all these lines, even with the, with the two brake panels on our side, and grab eight and grab eight of the Ds. D, brakes, brakes, C, okay. Here's a brake, here's a brake, okay. B lines, which are all underneath here, oh. and A lines, which are right underneath here. Okay. Now, we cover this up, and what I do is I pull this, okay, I, I, I just go ahead and, uh, and leave it right there. Now we gotta bring the slider up. Okay, after we folded the tail, first we, first we stacked it, then we uh, cleared the stabilizers, then we set the brakes, then we folded the tail, and now we bring up the, uh, bring up the, uh, what do you call it, the slider. Slide. Okay. I gotta take this out first. So. Why? Um, because, I'm gonna show you something. Fold out. Right. Now you can, uh, we're gonna repack this, but. What I'm gonna do is this. Off. Watch this. Can you pull those up? Yeah, I, I took them off so I could get the screwdriver through. All right. Okay, watch this. If you don't want to go and stake them there, what you can do here is this. This is probably would have been a better idea. If you put these two three rings together, okay, yeah. and then you stake it here. Okay. Then your rig sits like that. That's actually the best way to uh, to stake your rig, yeah, just like that. Do okay. Do reserve. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Okay. The reason is, is it allows you to get in here now and. Uh, of these, you know, is just to make sure that the, when this thing comes under stress, that there isn't a line that's down here, you know what I mean, that all of a sudden goes, gets some momentum and goes whack like that. And it's just like... Okay, now, notice that this is your left riser, okay, and this is your right riser, okay. Now, the way the slider really wants to open, okay, the slider... Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, dogs, don't run over the line. Come here. open up your canopy all the four risers come off your back like this right like this Rosie. and then they and then they open come. up like this okay come here Rosie the risers come off your back uh -huh. and then they open up yeah. they open up four and out so what you want to do remember how I showed you how to, how to stack this slider okay remember here here's the uh, it's kind of weird but here's the top yeah I think okay. I remember this piece there. this how you split it how you go in between, okay, here's the front and the back, okay. and here's the front and the back, and you're gonna pull it between the two, the two groups, okay? okay? Until you can grab a point of tension, mm -hmm. okay? That, that means that there should be more, until the, the, the until, yeah, and, and then there's this, exactly, just like this, lie either way, that you, when you pull on the dead center, that both risers come up. So that here comes the slider, okay? Now we're gonna do something. Notice how the lines, we start separating here. Now the lines are all stacked together on each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're just gonna go in and work our way. And the first ones that we're gonna come to are the A's, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna give those a little bit of a separation right there, okay? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Now, as we lift this forward, we're gonna see that, that this has to go in between the BC stabilizer, okay? We want the grommets to, to be to hit at the same time. So you do that side, I'll do this side. Notice that we have to go in, in, into the stabilizer here. BC stabilizer. 
Okay. You see how it's you see how it's coming in there? Uh -huh. Okay. Notice how this, there's a fold that is coming in there, and notice how it seats. Okay. Just set it down. And it seats. You want the grommets firmly seated, no play against here. You don't want to have it blow up. You want it to be in the full up position. Here it is, fully up. Okay. And there's the center center the center uh, portion right here. All I do with this is I roll this. Okay. I roll it like that, okay, and this this little part right here, doesn't matter what you do with it, you know, I just kind of, I'll just stick it down, just so it doesn't touch anything. Going back up, you can double, ch anytime, you can always double check your air channel, okay, here, here it is, see what I'm saying, okay. All right, now, this is the most important part, right here is the business part of your canopy, this is what, from here to here, this is what you've worked for, okay, is to get it just like this. Okay, you've got a great air channel, you've got your slider set, you've got all your lines just neatly laying there, your stabilizers are fully cleared, okay, and now you're ready to cover it up. Now, from this point on, what you gotta do, do you have like a metal bar? Do you have like a piece of plastic? I gotta show you, I gotta show you this, 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 this ticket. Um, Dang, way to do this. I'm gonna leave this like this until, I'm gonna go look at this. Yes. Flakes or anything like that. Okay, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pull this down. Now, now notice how I undid this one clamp. Yep. Okay. Now what we're gonna have to do is, is you see the C clamp right here? I want to pull the tail down to cover the slider. So what I gotta do is I gotta, I gotta, I have to pop, remove. You see how I have one, two, three on this side, one, two, three on this side. Okay. I'm gonna remove the center one right here. Boom. Do you see how I did that? Okay. There's the center one right there. Okay. There's the tape. Okay, that allows me to pull this tail down more, okay, and cover this up. Now what you want to do is you want to put your knees right on the slider, okay. So you bring the tail all the way down to uh, the bottom of the, uh -huh. of the slider. And you kind of work yourself out um, a little ear of a uh, material here. Okay, now. Remember how those lines, you know what I mean? And I go like this all the way to the top, roll the material underneath. What I really want to do is I want to have the tail, okay, this, this portion of the tail in one continuous sweep, you know, this material right here, come all the way underneath. Then with the left elbow here, controlling the lines, I roll all this. Now, because you're stack packing, it's thicker right here than it is right here. Come here and feel this. There's more material right here than this. My bag is about, about that wide, okay? It's about how wide your bag is. About that wide right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, I'm gonna put my knee on it. Okay, because now I'm I, I really the lines. And I'm gonna reach underneath until I can grab the material on the other side. You notice that I'm holding it right there. You see? Okay. Now I've got it. I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna fold it. And pull the bar out. Okay. Just like that. Then I lay it right here again. Okay. Yeah, I like this tool. Total control. Okay. Oh, that's not a rake. Now I'm gonna remove. Now I'm gonna count all the clamps. Okay. I'm gonna pull this back. This comes over my head. It comes back here. Okay. Uh, so now no, notice the nose come out right here. See, this is the nose, okay? See? If you want to expose the nose more, then you can pull it on, on either side. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamps, okay? I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this one, okay? This is the nose, see, right here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is <clears throat> take this fold, fold it back. So three major folds. Mm-hmm. Until and I'll remove the clamps. Okay. What? This is the washer. No, just 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 for initially putting them on because they slide a little bit better. Okay, watch. Uh, 
you're going to go through here and it's a dry band. Watch, it's wet. See what I'm saying? Up a little bit more. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like that. Put them on with no juice. And you, you, can, you, can get, you, can, you can really push the folds in. See what I'm saying? And here's the tail again. And if you wanted to, you know, reset them, you know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Just set it even. You can do that. Forward a little bit. And I go to one side or the other. It doesn't matter. You can go left or right. Okay. But the important part is that you have a uh, uh, that you have that you have that you have a point that's equal. You can stuff the lines down in between here or whatever you want to do. Okay. But you, but you basically just want to have have the lines kind of clear to the side. So the grommet is exposed, okay? Take this. So there's there's no canopy fabric sticking up, okay? Like you can take this now and you can tuck it down farther. Extra, yeah. You just gotta you gotta kind of play with it. What I do is I try to I try to um, take it up in the next stow, okay? Okay, no fabric um, between the next the next stow. So what you gotta do with bands, okay? I stick the band through, like that, all right? Get the fabric out of the way. Okay, so it just goes right to the grommet. Pull it like that. And I turn the bag sideways. I go like this, okay? So that, here the, here, here the lines are straight, okay? This to me is like the hardest part of packing a canopy, okay? What I'll do is, I'll, I'll uh, take them out, in, in this stow, I'm going to take out all the slapping lines, okay? Nice fold like that. Oh. So that this is, this is as straight as possible, okay? This, this is it's kind of hard. Sometimes I use a stick. I get something that I can hold the hold the band, you know what I mean, so the band doesn't pop through. Yeah. Like, I'll take the top of this, this pen cap. You know what a cascade is? This thing right here, where one line becomes two, yeah. okay? All right, and I lift it, I lift that to here. Now what I do is slide the bag forward a little bit. Be careful not to twist the bag, okay? And, and I get the line straight, okay, like that. And I go like that, okay? And then what I try to do is I, I grab it with my hand, okay? So that when I hold this, these lines are straight, okay? Yep. I hold the cascade. This helped me out because now I don't have to single-handedly do this, mm -hmm. okay? And I take this up. And I go over. So it's real straight. All lines are straight. There's no big bows, okay? And you stick it out inch and a half, two yeah. inches? Yeah, that's a really neat line stow, okay? Real good tension on the lines. Okay. It's okay to put, put the cascades right there? No, see, I, I didn't, you, I, I, I went before the cascades. Here's the cascade right here. That's what's really good about this canopy. So you want to avoid putting the cascades in the band? Yeah, don't have the cascades come up above the band, okay? Try to get this fold so that you don't. You're okay. So I, I, I find out where, where, where the fold should be. Okay, I've got tension on the lines, okay? I come back around and I match, and then I squeeze, make the rabbit ear, okay? Mm -hmm. Grabbing the line. Okay, and it loosely holds it. And these are, you know, I can pull back, see what I'm saying? And, I can, and, I, and then I can make my next line stuff, see what I'm saying? Like by, by doing this. together that's good okay 
You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not like getting all twisted as you as you pack. The really good check is to lie it down, okay? Because then you, then that's that that's how you know it's exactly right. See what I'm saying? Okay. So put this back up. Come back to here. Thing really big, and yeah. then it went like this. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. If it, and then if we're packed, and it went like that. No. <laughs> Face. Because okay. what would happen is, as the bag deploys, this would catch. Yep. Okay. That's called a bag lock. Okay. Okay. Now what I do is I grab down below here. Okay. So that when I fold the risers. What you don't want is the bag in the container and then you gotta pull the riser. You know yeah. what I mean? Once you close it up. So to avoid that, all you gotta do is pull the harness down. See? Mm -hmm. Pull the, the harness down. Okay? And you can put and do like this. This one's sitting like this. Okay. And I light this up. Now it should go by this. I lift it up, I make sure it's tight. Okay, make sure that I have all the lines. Okay, for like that. <laughs> Boom. It's really good that the lines are, are not jammed together. Okay? And I lift it up. Okay? And I put the lines like that. I, I want to find the way it naturally falls, okay? And I lay the bag just like this. Okay, and I set it down. Alright? Now, what I do is I come over. And I take this riser group, just like it is, okay? Now notice your brake handle. Okay, you don't want your brake cap sticking up because someone could pull it and unstow it. And I pull this down until this is, it, they, I remember they go right, they go right on the side right here, okay? Okay, to keep it, to keep it clear. So I take this, I unstow this. And, I, and, and there's your brake, okay, brake pad, so I just, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little, little fold right like that, okay. And I take, I follow the lines, okay, and take the brake, taking the brake line on the outside, okay, and I lie it just like that, okay, just the way it would naturally, okay, I do it little bits at a time. Now I know that I have to do something with these lines so that they don't, so that this stow, lines always go in the bottom of the bottom of the container, okay? Always, okay? And the Velcro is always up. John, Velcro is always up. <laughs> okay? And I slowly move it towards the watch. And watch what I'm doing. I'm just moving this back a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you hike up to the top of El Cap, what you want to do is you wanna, you're going to lift your bag out and recheck this stow because you can't be sure that this, how it shifted, okay? Okay. And then I drop it. Now, just before I drop it, I pull this up and I look. Okay, I look. I make sure that the brake line's on top here. Okay. Going down. And the brake line's on top over there. Okay. And then I'll lift them. And I'll push it to the side here. And I'll push it to the side here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Now, that just sits right in there. Boom. Just like that. Okay, look at that again. I see it. Nice. Okay. Now, another thing you check is you check to see that you check to see that the, uh, that, the that the that the stoves as you drop them in, that none of these you know slipped over. Okay, I turn these down, 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 down. Okay, keep keeping it tight. Look over here, down. Look in here, down, and that one's that one's good. Okay. And this comes over the top, right to here, okay? So bottom to top flap, then left to right, I remember. So here we go, bottom. And then what we do is we come up until we have about an inch, okay? Then we take this, and what we want is we want the white Velcro and the pin down, okay? The pin right here is down, because it's gonna be full S-folded on the flaps. So we take this sewn, sewn bridle tab, and stuff it here until the metal ring, the metal ring is just before the plastic tab. And this is just off to the side. 
thread the top tab. This comes down and it sits right there. Notice that the tab comes straight down to the right side. Now the tab comes over to the right. Okay, oh I'm sorry, this threads over the top. Okay, notice that I have to take the, the, the right tab, I have to take the bridle around it. It's called bridle too? Yeah, it's bridle. Okay, watch. See how it's flat right there? It's on the flat end. Okay, now the closing tab, I thread through. Okay, until the tab, and it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pull it very hard. Now notice that the white came up on the top. That folds down, and then you want to check to see the way the pin naturally hangs down. The pin is naturally hanging like this. So if this is the way the pin naturally wants to hang, then it wants to go in just like that. Okay? So it goes down. Yeah. Never pull your pull-up cord straight out. You'll, you'll cause abrasion on the white cord. Loop it underneath the wire. That pulls it underneath. And then you pull it out. Okay? You should always have your pin half-armed. Okay? For a base jump, you also have it up. And you can leave the tab like that. Okay? okay. It does not, doesn't matter. Okay? Don't, don't leave, it doesn't matter. Leave it open. Now notice that the tab, okay, this, the purpose of this little Velcro tab is to give it a little momentum after the pin is pulled, okay? Okay, notice that the pin is down also. Notice that I cover pretend with the bridle and this fold right here on top. Okay, and it comes straight down. Notice that I'm closing also the container. Now, the Velcro is also on the bottom. That goes to the side, right to here. Okay, for L cap jump, we do half Velcro. Okay, actually, it doesn't matter, but okay. And I fold this under. Okay, and then and with this extra excess, I just stuff it underneath here. It's, it, the excess is being stuffed underneath this tab right here. Okay, I turn the rig on its side, and I follow the Velcro all the way. Okay, now I noticed I noticed something right here. Do you have this uh, pulled in for a reason? Yeah, you do, don't you? I do. Okay, well, what I'll do is this, is you have to start the Velcro here. You don't want any excess Velcro. So if I have to do that, that means I have to words right to here stuff a bit more. and stuff a little bit more Velcro in underneath here, which means there's a little Velcro underneath here too. Do you feel that? Feel that, John? Underneath there. Is that for that? Yeah, and you yeah, and you and you pinch it to it. Oh. Okay. And then it oh. just routes this right underneath here. Okay. Nice. And then it what happens is now with the rig on its side, okay. And this being the uh, the strap. The pilot, the sh here's here's the, here's the strap right here. Okay, a lot of times what causes malfunctions too is when people put on their rigs. They get this looped underneath the bridle. If this goes around the bridle right here, total malfunction. You throw out the pilot chute, it's not going to be able to deploy the rig. Okay? But to prevent that, what we do is uh, now we're going to fold the pilot chute. Okay? So, just like the we follow it up and find the center. I want to make sure that, that this doesn't move. There should be no holes in the pilot chute, really. Like, I'd get you another one for a uh, base jumping. That's your little bigger one. Okay. Lay this out symmetrically. Check and see if there's no major holes, I should say. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to S-fold it right, right to here. Okay, I'm going to take that a little bit more out. You want to leave enough, uh, you want to leave about the length, length of this down because it has to go all the way down and come back out. So right to there, that's about it. You fold this over. Okay, this coming out at the, at the black seam. Notice that it, it's just S folded. Okay. Okay. Then this material 
you want you want the thicker end to be to be something that you want to feel the nice thick end. All right. I uh, guess what I'll do also is uh, ooh, wait a minute. Hmm. Every every bridle's different. Um, since this this is the width of the pouch, it's about half the width of this. So I guess what happens is I just fold this down. Okay. Then I'm gonna fold this to the side. Wait a minute. I gotta do another fold. This comes up. Okay. You folded it essentially in in quarters. Okay. That's about the width of the, of the pouch right there. Okay. And then this comes over here. I'll take a little fold right here just to kind of close off this mesh. Okay. Right to here. Fold it over. Okay. Making it flat. And then taking this, a little fold, and coming it over, and flat, okay? And then with the rest of this bridle, I'll take it up right here, and then roll tightly this pilot shoe. Ouch. Small pilot shoe, sprint pilot shoe. Okay. Until I find the Velcro, okay? Then notice it's not it's not getting twisted, and I stick it straight in here. Put this in the line straight. Velcro can close.